giving yourself a hug, reassuring yourself that you're on the right track. Filling your self-love tank means imagining a life where you can give yourself everything you need, regardless of what the world looks like. Wouldn't that be freaking amazing? So, key number two to overcoming self-doubt is to develop a loving relationship with self-doubt so you can go for what you really, really want. Are you beginning to see how self-doubt may be one of the best things ever? You might not end up becoming a pilot. You might not marry your first love. You might not get that dream job. You might not achieve that lofty goal. You'll find something much more profound. You'll realize the true power within. Understand this. In striving to achieve desired goals, what you really, really want are the positive emotions those goals promise. True freedom comes when you no longer rely on your achievements to give you permission to fall in love with who you are right now. When you can love the person in the mirror, regardless of your achievements, you become truly unstoppable. That's because loving yourself brings peace and happiness. So, the next time the doubt comes, don't fight it. Embrace it as a friend who wants to remind you to fill up the self love tank. Often, learning takes a little longer than we think it should. After I had decided to quit my pilot career and just discovered my true calling, I still perceived self-doubt as my enemy. I was too scared to fail again. It would take me another seven years to realize this dream. I kept looking back at my pilot experience thinking, I should have known better from the start. I gave up too soon, I'm a quitter. A guaranteed formula to staying stuck with your self-doubt Blame yourself often for what you have or haven't done. My friends, not knowing how to deal with your doubts delays your dreams. That's because when you think about stepping outside of your comfort zone, your brain will scan past events to evaluate the risks. That may sound something like this. Hey bro, remember that time when you invested all of your savings into cryptocurrency and it didn't work out? Yep, that time, dumbass, never gonna happen again. From now on, you're gonna play it safe. Your brain really wants to protect you from getting hurt again. But what if there was a way to tell your brain, the pain of my past does not determine the possibility of my future. Have courage to proceed. There is a way. Forgive yourself for your past failures. Now, that may feel scary because forgiveness is misunderstood. You may feel that forgiveness makes you weak because you admit you let down your guard. As Mahatma Gandhi noticed, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is a sign of the strong. Forgiveness means no longer denying reality because your brain will tell you all kinds of false stories. One of the biggest being, I could have done something different. The fact that you acted the way you acted is all the proof you need to know that you couldn't have acted in any other way. Your mental, physical, and emotional state produced the only outcome possible. So it's not your fault. And you couldn't have done anything different. Because you've had the experience, you now possess new insights that allow you to make a new choice. Now, you're responsible to decide what you're going to do with the wisdom you've harvested from that experience. Will you let it be the weight of the past you're still dragging behind you today? Or will you use it to be wiser, more loving, and more courageous? Choose to be wiser. I challenge you to decide to forgive yourself for all that you think you did wrong. Let go of blaming yourself. Give yourself permission to express a new level of confidence, 